All right, today I'm starting to build my above ground garden beds with my cedar that Wiley cut it for me. Here's my, some of my live edges. I'm gonna keep them as possible bracing. And if I see they look, they're gonna look good in a certain spot on the, ex, you know, on the outside, I will run that on there. But what I'm gonna do now is, I've already cut three. I need to um, cut 12, this is for one box, 12 of those at 35 and a half inches. And um, these will be the, the vertical pieces that go up and down. And then my horizontal pieces will go and screw on like this. And I did buy real long screws for all this. And I'll probably pre-drill it so nothing cracks. So my goal is I need 12 of those for now. All right, so I'm gonna get cutting these. Um, these, all these ends are live end cuts. In other words, my chainsaw cut them. So that what I've got to do now is I'm going through and squaring off the cuts and then I measure out 35 and a half and cut it again. What I usually do, how I make sure things are straight, I put my straight edge, find a straight edge, make sure the board's straight, lay flat on here. Then I'll put my saw here, I bring it up against here and that allows me to cut a nice straight cut across. Now that is perfectly straight, right on the cross. All right, now let me measure 35 and a half inches. 35 and a half. And then I'll do the same thing here. We'll cut straight across. Okay, I got my verticals cut for this one box. And these are my verticals. That's some nice looking wood, huh? Look at the live edge. I got my 12 that I need here. Now I'm going to cut my horizontal on a short side of my box, which is uh, 5 foot. But I have to make it 62 and a half inches long. Um, I'll need to cut uh, four of those, and then we'll do the horizontal for the long run. Okay, I got my four horizontal uh, on the short length, which is the five foot wide, done. I got four boards there. Those are my verticals for down. And now these are my long boards, vertical, uh, horizontal that I gotta do. And these here will be 96, nine feet, six inches long. My sheet metal is 14, six. So I'm doing nine, six here and a five foot wide. So it makes it 14.6 inches. So I'll be using a full sheet of metal I have for my garden beds. So we need to cut that right there. And then we'll do need to do three more of those boards. All right. I got that one cut. Looks good. Here's the boards that I'm going through that I've trimmed. That I've used for this different things different lengths. There's a, still a lot of good wood with all these things here I'm gonna need bracing so the boards don't pull apart and these definitely will go inside the boxes I mean, there's a lot of good looking wood here, too All right, let me get me let me get three more of those boards cut and then we should be ready to put this thing together At least All right, we're gonna go ahead and start building our This is our horizontals We go ahead and drill this side here and get this one done. All right, now these are still loose. I can move them around. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other set and I wanna get all this together and I wanna square it and tighten it down so it stays nice and straight. I love Torx. Love them, all right? I do not like Phillips. Every time you use Phillips, they want to round out unless you have a hammer drill. Then you can use Phillips, but I've just had so much more better luck using torque bits. That's just me. I like them. They're a little bit more money, but uh, you don't see me throwing hammers. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
All right, let me go screw this other side down and then we'll flip it around and screw the other vertical on. All right. Okay, I'm gonna run around my square. I'm making sure things are square. That looks nice and square right here. All the way through looks really good. This one here, it ought to be pretty close guys for the way I cut the wood. And this one here, I'm gonna say is square. The only reason why I see daylight here is because it looks like he, the saw blade jumped where this knot is. It's like it's hollow right here a little bit, if, I, if you know what I mean. But the rest, if you look right here, and you look at the end, it's all dead on. And that's dead on. So that looks good. Okay, if you're wanting to find, I've, I've, I've got this laid out. This is good the long side. If you want to be able to plant your boards in the center so it looks dimensionally right, the same distance between this hole, that hole, and that hole, what you got to do is take a total length of your board. 114 inches. You hear my little puppy out there. 114 inches. You divide that into three. 38 inches will put me dead center of this board right there. We'll do 38 inches, that center. Let me mark that. We're marking 38 inches right here. So if I was to take my tape measure to go across from that point there to right there, I am 1 8th, uh, 16th off. So not bad. So we will have the same distance between this square, this square, and this square. So you take All right, we got this one done here. And I've got that one and those two ends. So now my metal sheeting is over there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a sheet. Okay, as you can see, I already cut a sheet of metal. And uh, I didn't cut it all the way to the end because let me show you. Those short ends, that's not even screwed on yet. Those short ends will go screw this way, where I'll be screwing into them. So I had to leave a gap for the boards to come in. Same thing down that side. And I've got four screws run here. I'll probably do four there, and I'll probably do four down the center. All right, what I did do... I added a brace here in the middle because I laid that on top and it was just kind of floppy and I know the ribs would be supportive but I still wanted a brace so I did I put another brace in and I'm going to use some of that rough edge on it so you see it I think it's pretty cool so now we need to put take that sheet and lay it on top figure out exactly where it needs to sit and then we'll screw it all together all right I hope you can all follow along what I'm trying to say here this is going to be the top part of my um, deal uh, beds okay this is the inside all right that's the outside that's what we're gonna see all right I want if you cannot lay you cannot lay on the, the right angle dead on here because you'll have a gap so what I'm doing is I am shifting the sheeting from here to there is two and a half inches so I want all these boards to line up straight across, all the way, you know, nice and level. But I move my sheeting down two and a half inches. So I'll show you what I mean. Over, maybe not even a sixteenth over. So I'm fine with. I'm gonna leave that the way it sits. I'm fine with it. And so that way, all the fingers, the ribs will be. That other rib will be right here, same as this one will be on this, you know, here. So they all lay together and they get good seal. And then my next piece here I'll set up the same as what that is right there and then they all go together and vice versa I think hopefully I didn't lose you all but I'll show you what I'm talking about when it's done all right you can see I got these skinned together those are done I need to put the sheeting on here today's a new day and I want to try to get some of this stuff up and out of my way so I can have my driveway back so I've been cutting wood to do two more beds all that right there that you see should be able to do me two more beds. Um, probably could get, I've got, um, these are four by fours right here. But I've got uh, five or six right there. And then I have these. And these are extreme notched. And some of these are extremely bowed. 
and they're fine. I can use them in different areas. Um, I can actually take shorts right here, those right there. I can cut out of these if I wanted to. So I really need to figure out if I want to build a fourth bed, being I do have these here. All right, I got all my uh, all my um, garden beds are framed out in sheet metal, as you can see. This is what the outside of them will look look like right here, and this is to be the inside. This will be full of the wood, hookah culture, dirt, bolts, whatever else. But here's that here. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to make it either a two or a three part series on how we're going to put these together and then how we're going to fill them and what I've got to do with the garden. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.